Welcome back to another video. So here, this one is going to be a really tricky and um, nasty integral to work out. But there's actually a really dead easy way to do this. And it's just one thing. You just need to recognize that that sec, at least the power sec squared x is the derivative solution of tan x. So tan x and sec squared are actually indirectly related. They're related in two ways, by differentiation and by trig identities. So let's break them both down. So on the side, so this is something that is good to know in your calculus classes as well, that the derivative of a tan x equals sec squared x. You already know that the derivative of a sine equals cos and cos equals negative sine. This is the, the least popular one, but you should try and memorize it. I'm not sure if you get, you get it as a formula, but still. Another identity you also need to know is the, um, the you're probably you're, you're definitely familiar with sine squared x plus cos squared x equals one. We need one in terms of sec squared again. So to get sec squared, notice that if, if you divide um, one by cos, you'll get sec. So dividing everything by cos squared, you should get what you're looking for. This is in case you didn't know. If you already know identity, then you're fine. So this term becomes tan squared x plus cos squared over cos squared is 1, 1 over cos squared is sec squared x. So this is the second identity. So I'm going to keep this over here as well. So you're going to keep on the side sec squared x equals 1 plus tan squared. This is going to be useful in a minute and I'll show you why. Okay, 1 plus tan squared x. Also this one. Now let's begin. So this equation is power to 4. This is a problem. It's better if we had two x sec squared equations. So rewriting this one, we're going to get sec squared x times sec squared x. So always keep your, when you're dealing with tan, always have a sec squared version over the root of tan, dx. Now, using u substitution, this is where, the, where things actually start working themselves out. Suppose we let u equal tan x. Taking the derivative, so du would equal, like we said, sec squared x dx. Notice straight away that I'm talking about the sec squared dx over here. So this is why we split them up. So we can see. So all of this became becomes du. And now this one becomes u, root u. However, we still got sec squared here. But uh -huh. now we look at this equation here, guys. We know that sec squared also equals 1 plus tan squared. And we know since u is tan, therefore tan squared is u squared. So we have 1 plus u squared would be sec squared. So over here we can say sec squared x equals over here 1 plus u squared. And that's it guys. Now we just chuck the whole thing in. So this sec squared belongs of course over here. So we're going to have 1 plus u squared times... Oh, here yeah, times du over root use. And this all of this is du. And that's it. And now to solve this one, you can just split the fractions up. So you're going to have 1 over root u plus u squared over root u. So 1 over root u. So I think we should always definitely partition this. 1 over root u plus u squared over root u. And now we just integrate this. And if you remember, 1 over root u is just u to the negative 1. So let me just get more space. This is going to be the integral of um, u to the power minus half plus u squared over this. So this is 2 and this is half. 2 take away half is 3 over 2. So u to the power of 3 over 2 du. And finally, the power rule. All you do is raise the power by 1 and divide it. So you're going to get u to the power of half over half plus u to the power add 1 to 3 over 2, which is 5 over 2 over 5 over 2 plus c. Boy, now this was this was something. And then finally, you're going to plug all the tans back into the equation. And so this should give you, so rubbing all this out. So if you guys want to check back, definitely pause it and rewind if you want to see how we did this again. You should get, I really hope I didn't make a mistake here because I don't want to repeat this video. It takes such a long time to plan it. We should get, so let me make this neat. So this should be 2, so this goes up to you to the power of half plus this becomes two fifths so flip it down to the reciprocal u five over two plus c u is uh tan x so we get two this is half so root 
tan x plus 2 fifths root tan x all to the power 5. So, you know, I'll just do it like that. Plus c. And that's it, guys. This was definitely a long question, and I hope I got it right. I mean, I think I got it right. But other than that, you know, I just want to say have a nice day, and um, definitely look back at my other videos. I got another tough one, sine squared cos cube, but if, I think you got it. Anyway, ciao now, and see you all soon. Take care.